Deccan Soaring Tower TSD-60 scaffolding as a small number of individual parts, including base jack, mainframe, diagonal brace, connection sleeve and U-head jack, etc. TST-60 is the fifth assembly and cost effective supporting frame system in formwork construction, especially developed for high shoring and heavy load projects. So, it's widely used in bridge, subways, buildings and other several engineering projects. Mainframe as the main bearing component of TST-60 has four types as shown in the figure above. There are three types of diagonal brace that is used to reinforce the mainframes as shown in the figure above. Connection sleeve is used to connect the mainframes. Base jack is the bottom bracket of the frame. Its adjustable range is much larger than traditional scaffolding due to the height of 1.05 mm. U head jack is used to support the formwork as the top support of the frame. The following is an introduction to the two different assembly methods of TST-60, which are shown in the case of a braid box girder, pre-assembly underground, and the case of a warehouse flow assembly on site. Setup assembly platform. Place two mainframe pieces vertically. Connect the mainframe with diagonal brace. Install the connection sleeve. Connect the additional two mainframe pieces to the connector sleeve. Repeat above actions to the height used. Install the base jack and use connecting hook to connect the mainframe. Install the U-head jack. Pre-assembly of a DSD-60 individual towers of one unit is completed. Lift the individual units by tower crane. Move to the corresponding position. Repeat the above actions and use GI pipe and copper to connect and stable the TST-60 individual tower according to the drawing requirements. Place the base jack at fixed point. Place the mainframe and connect the base jack and the mainframe with the connecting hook. Connect the mainframe with diagonal brace. Install the connection sleeve. Repeat above actions to the height used. Install the U-head jack. Repeat the above actions and use the GI pipe and the coupler to connect and stable the TST-60 individual tower according to the drawing requirements. The last step is to assemble the formwork. Bore the concrete and complete the structural pouring. It is free to choose different assembly methods according to the actual situation on site. For different height of a DST-60, we have three types of overall transfer method. Firstly, use the grain to move as the frame height over 9M. Secondly, use a forklift to move as the frame height at 5 to 9 m. Thirdly, use a trolley to move as the frame height up to 5 m. It needs flexible adjustment of a specific transportation methods combined with actual site conditions. Deck and Shoring Tower TSD-60 scaffolding has a load capacity of a 60k in leg with a safety factor of a 2.0. Compared to conventional scaffolding, the components are simple and the assembly is extremely efficient. 
The integral transfer function saves a lot of time and costs on site.